The other thing that we've been conditioned to do is to really focus on the problem. We've been taught to problem solve. You know, that's a big part of schooling. Um, mm. And we certainly model it from our parents. You know, there's a problem. We talk about the problem. We think about the problem. We nut out the problem. And that's how we get to the solution. And one of the biggest shifts that I've made through this soul pleaser process is knowing that as soon as I identify a problem, they're already, the solution already exists. And the more I focus on the problem, the more I am resisting the solution because the energy of the problem or the vibration of the problem is very different to the energy or the vibration of the solution. So the first thing I do when a problem arises, as soon as I become aware of it, is I take a break from the problem. So it's really counterintuitive compared to what we've been conditioned to do. Um, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to feel what I feel now while I focus on the problem. I'm going to completely distract myself from this and go and walk down the beach or get away from the problem. And I know, having practiced this for a while, that the inspiration for the solution will come when I'm on that relaxed, carefree vibration, but it won't when I'm nutting out, focusing on the problem.